Welcome back. In this tutorial, we will start learning about part design. So click on start, mechanical design, part design. Then from at first you have to create a sketch to convert it into 3D. So click on the sketch. Then select the plane on which you want to create the sketch. Then create the sketch. Suppose I create one center rectangle give the center point, give the location. And using constraints, you can give the dimension. Double click and change it. So, in this, your sketch should be closed. That care you have to take. Then click on exit workbench now you are back in part design then to convert this rectangle into a 3d plate click on this pad pad then give the length by how much uh, how much is the thickness of the plate by clicking on this preview you can view the preview if you can reverse the direction from here click on reverse direction preview so you can revert change the side of the thickness here you can give the length how much length you want then you can also make it thick if you want to give some thickness click on the thick then here you have to give the thickness now thickness is 1 mm so click on preview so you here you can view that a thickness of 1, one mm has been given so it has been given if we view the top view and zoom fit so it has been given inside our sketch if you want the thickness outside also you, from here you can give the thickness on other side also so from your sketch it has been given outside you can click on preview so in this way on both side you can give the thickness and if you want 50 50 on both side then you have to click on this neut neutral fiber if you click on neutral fiber whatever is your thickness that will be divided half on either side so in this way you can use the thick option if you want to give the thickness to the part so that means it will create a from here again we will go for isometric view zoom fit so in this way you can create a th thick part for the sketch we will remove it preview so it is again plate and if you want to give the same thickness as this on the other side also then you can use the mirror extent if you click on mirror extent so same thickness of 20 will be given on both side that means total thickness will become 40 mm and if you want other thickness if you want different thickness for other side then remove the mirror extent and from second limit here you can give the thickness what you want suppose on other side i want it to be 30 then click on preview so here it is 30 here it is 20 and you can switch between 30 and 20 using this reverse direction so in this way you can change the side so again we will go back to zero here and we will click on ok so this plate is ready then again zoom it suppose I want to create some shape here then again you have to click on the sketch select the surface on which you want to create the sketch then create your rectangle again suppose i will create this rectangle give the first point second point give the parameters as required then click on this line i want to match this line with this line so click on this line press control button and click on other line and then click on constraint defining dialog box and give the coincidence constraint 
okay same way for this also select this line control this line then click on constant dependent dialog box coincidence okay so in this way this rectangle is aligned to this side then again click on extend exit workbench then give the thickness again use the pad command to give the thickness and give the height whatever you want and click on ok so in this way this part is created then next suppose i want to make some hole here then for that again i will create a sketch click on sketch select this surface then create suppose i want a circular hole there so i will take a circle at the center and if you want circle to be at different location suppose i want it at this location then you can give the dimension using constraint suppose i want this point from this surface at some specified distance so in this way you have to dimension it same way you have to give distance of this point from this surface at some distance now what did the constraint is there coincidence constraint is there between h and this circle therefore this has become pink so suppose i don't want this coincidence constraint then just select it and delete it so it will be removed and here you can change it if you want it so in this way you can place the object and give the dimension by surrounding edges or any reference edges so i created this circle uh, give the dimension using constraint and press exit workbench then to create a cut you have to use pocket command here so click on pocket then give the depth how much depth you want that you can give then click on okay and other options are same as we have seen in the pad command those are the same by clicking on this more you can see the other options also click on less it will show this much only then click on ok so in this way this hole is created so as we create the object here in tree the features are created so here is part 1 then part body if you by mistake clicks on this line again click on it so lights will get on again so click on this plus so here is the pad 1 that was the original we have created this is pad 2 this is and this is the pocket if you want to edit any of this feature suppose i want to change of this height of this pad 2 just double click on that pad 2 so here you can change the parameters of pad 2 directly or i want to increase the or you can also edit it by double clicking on the part itself suppose i want to change the thickness of this part so double click on it and here you can change the parameter so in this way you can double click here or double click on the part and if you want to make changes in the sketch then before this pad one there is plus sign is there so you have to click on that and here sketch is there so just double click on the sketch so you can make changes to the sketch if you want it so in this way you can and again after making changes click on exit workbench so as per that suppose we will just make some change suppose i want a circular profile here so i will take the circle take this midpoint and click on here then i need a close profile so this uh, placement of this circle has created mul multiple profiles so to uh, convert this shape into a single profile we will just trim these shapes so for that click on this arrow of this trim and double click the quick trim so we can use the trim multiple times yes oh, yes okay so in this way this circle has been inserted there so you can also give parameter okay all right then uh, click this uh, quick trim to come out then click on this exit workbench so as per the modification of your sketch your part will get mod modified so and if you if you don't want any feature just select it 
and right click and select delete or you can also select the delete button on the keyboard to remove it so just click delete yes delete aggregated element so whatever sketches has been there if you want to keep the sketch as it is then you have to remove the tick of this here and if you want to delete those also just take it okay so this sketch and that feature both will be deleted and suppose I do, don't want this full part just click on this part one right click and delete and delete all children is there so it is tick so all children's will be deleted click on ok so all part has been deleted so we will create one more sketch so click on sketch so I want to create a vertical part so I will take this vertical Z explain then you can pan it by pressing the scroll button and dragging the mouse then using profile we will create one sketch so you have to pay attention to the color of the line if line is straight it will be in blue and if it is inclined it will be in white so what is your requirement as per that you have to manage it you can also track the surrounding points so that in it will be in line with those points so this sketch is ready then click on exit workbench then again to convert it into a 3d click on pad give the thickness 40 I want it on both side of the sketch so I will click on mirror extent ok so this part is ready then suppose I want to create one sketch here so just click on sketch select the surface zoom fit click on this zoom fit then suppose I want to create a circle here and using constraint we can give the placement dimension then click on exit workbench then to convert this into 3d again click on pad then here in type if we click on this dimension so there are different options are there so if you select up to next then it will extrude or it will create part up to the next surface if you click on preview it will show you and if you click on up to last that means it will go up to the last surface click on the preview and if you take up to plane then you can choose the plane up to which you want to create it preview so it will create up to the selected plane or up to surface is also the same so in this way you can define the first limit same way you can define the second limit also if I want this shaft to come out by some dimension so here you can give the dimension how much you want preview so it will come out in the direction and if there are some extend limits are there you can use this option also so in this way you can use the type option from first limit and second limit to defend the depth and same options are applicable for pocket also in pocket also you can use these same options so in pocket actually it will remove the material and it in pad it has added the material so from here you can view the isometric view how it looks then if you click on the arrow below the isometric view you can view it from different sides then left view so different views you can view top view from here you can define the different visual styles shading so there is this is shading so without lining no lining is there then second is shading with edges so edges will be visible same way there is shading with edges without smooth edges that means here for cylindrical part one line has been shown so if you don't want to view this line then you have to take this option shading with edges without smooth edges so it will not show the smooth edges then next is shading with edges and hidden edges 
if you take this option it will show the hidden pages then next is with material that we will see later and below it there is a wireframe so if you click on wireframe it will show in wireframe so these are the different visual styles are there that you can use then you can use the zoom fit then pan is there press the first button so this pan can be used used only one time then there is a orbit a rotate is there that is orbit so this also can be used only one time and if you want to pan using mouse just press the scroll button and drag the mouse so in this way you can use it from mouse and if you want to rotate or orbit using mouse then you have to press scroll right press scroll and right click and drag the mouse so you have to press both scroll button and right click button and drag the mouse so in this way you can orbit using mouse also so zoom plus is there zoom minus is there then normal is there normal view so whatever surface you take it will show the view normal to that view and here is called create multiple views suppose again we will take isometric if you click on this multiple views it will show multiple different views and if you click again on this it will come in single views and from here you can do the undo and redo if you want to make any changes if you want to cancel the changes and from here you can save it save give the name whatever name you want and save it and yes then you can close this file by clicking on this x if you click on this below x below this below red x so current so he is asking me to save the product so you can also save it inside a product or if you don't want a product you can cancel it okay no i don't want to save the product say no again if you want to start a new file from here you can start a new file click on new then here you you have to select the part again i want to part, start in part okay give the name to the file click okay so in this way you can start a new file and if you if you want to view the next tutorial that will be available here that means we will be creating one part or we will be solving one exercise based on what we learn in this tutorial then if you want to go for next tutorial that will be available here and you can view the complete view list here and you can subscribe from here so thanks for joining we will stop here and thank for watching